Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I am here hanging out in one of our hawkers and uh, I've got one of our pilots with me right now. This is Mark, say hi Mark. Hello. <laughs> Mark's flying with me today. He's, uh, he's gonna be driving the bus. He's doing fantastic with us. Love it. Um, anyway, I'm in one of our hawkers and most of our hawkers are, uh, are Proline 21 as you guys have seen. This is our only non-Proline airplane. This is a Honeywell Hawker uh, 800, uh, 800 XP in fact. And, uh, and we, uh, we actually recently acquired this airplane. It's been new to the certificate, been a beautiful airplane, fantastic to us. So we, we've been really enjoying it. We're down here in Cabo right now. You guys probably saw the video come out the other day about that. And, uh, and yeah, so uh, I wanted to show you guys the Honeywell system and a little bit of the difference between Honeywell and Proline. You might be surprised in how the differences look. So take a quick peek here. All right, so this is the Honeywell system. As you can see, it doesn't have those big fat screens that the Proline has. Lots of steam gauges here in the middle. This is all for our engines. Got some fuel stuff over here. The FMSs probably look familiar to you guys, but they are different. These are the Honeywell uh, FMSs. The, uh, the Collins that we have in the Proline are very similar, but a few small differences. These are our radios, a little different than what we're used to seeing in the Proline. These are our screens. The camera's messing with me here a little bit because these are these are not LCDs like you're used to seeing in the, in the Proline as well. We got a separate altimeter over here. This is our pressurization uh, uh, gauge over there. They call that the three-in-one pressurization. Still have that beautiful old ram's horn yoke that you guys are used to seeing. Way over here, this is our radio control. Also a little bit different between the, uh, the Honeywell and the Proline. Everything in the middle is pretty much the same between the two airplanes, so that, that all looks pretty much identical. Few small differences over here. This is actually our, our radar control. We have one on each side. We got one over here, and then if I jump back over, we got one over here. This up here, the sun's not helping us out here very much today, but this is what controls our PFD and our MFD. As we go across the top, that's gonna look a little bit different to you guys. The uh, mode control panel here that's going to be a little different heading course airspeed knobs over there and as we go overhead you will notice it is all pretty much identical there's a couple of extra buttons based on the difference in avionics but for the most part everything up top is going to be exactly the same again with just a few minor differences mainly up here in the test areas we have some differences up here with the ads and stuff like that that the pro line doesn't have but yeah, mostly the same. That's our fire extinguishing panel, that red one right there. I think I've had a few people ask me about that red panel. If we ever get an engine fire, that's where we're gonna go to, uh, to put the engine fire out. So yeah, that's the uh, Honeywell avionics system. Again, a little different than what you're used to seeing in the uh, Hawkers on the videos, but uh, I may start flying this one from time to time and I'll show you guys a little bit more of this airplane. So uh, think, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned a little something new maybe. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, Tech Tuesday. Give me a thumbs up, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Say bye to Mark. Bye. See you guys.